At 29 inches tall, Magnus is 17% shorter than Ziggy. How tall is Ziggy? To diagram this, start by drawing a number line. Your number line should have two tick marks to represent the two values that we're comparing. And what are the things that we're comparing? Their heights. We are comparing heights. So these two tick marks represent the two heights. Now you, here's where you have to read closely. One of the heights is 29 inches. And you have to read closely to determine is this the smaller height or the larger height. If you read closely, the 29 inches is shorter than the other one. So we can label the 29 on the left because smaller numbers go on the left on the number line and larger numbers go on the right. Then we draw an arrow to represent the percent. The arrow goes to the right if it's increasing and it goes to the left if it's decreasing. If Magnus is 17% shorter, does that go up or down? Shorter, smaller, down, this is a decrease. And we can label that as 17%. And the arrow always goes from R to C, so this tells us that we know that C is 29, and R is the thing we don't know that we're solving for that would be Ziggy's height. From here, we can plug it into our formula.